Insulin resistance and diabetes are terms we often hear in discussions about health and metabolism. But what exactly is the relationship between them? Are they the same thing? Or are they different conditions that are closely related? To understand this, let's break it down. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that plays a crucial role in regulating blood. Sugar levels, when we eat, our blood sugar levels rise, prompting the pancreas to release insulin. Insulin then helps glucose enter our cells, where it's used for energy. However, in some cases, cells become resistant to the action of insulin. This means that even though the pancreas is producing insulin, the cells don't respond to it effectively. As a result, glucose builds up in the bloodstream, leading to high blood sugar levels. Now, let's talk about diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic condition characterized by high levels of glucose in the blood. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. As a result, people with type 1 diabetes require insulin injections to manage their blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, is closely linked to insulin resistance. In the early stages of type 2 diabetes, the pancreas may produce extra insulin to compensate for the body's resistance. However, over time, the pancreas may not be able to keep up with the increased demand for insulin production, leading to high blood sugar levels. So, while insulin resistance is not the same as diabetes, it's a significant risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. Other risk factors for type 2 diabetes include obesity, physical inactivity, and genetics. In conclusion, while insulin resistance and diabetes are related, they are not identical. Understanding the connection between insulin resistance and diabetes is crucial for prevention, early detection, and effective management of these conditions.